Dad and I are going to try to get to the cabin. Oh, it's really icy. It's really, really icy. We had uh, freezing rain last night. The freezing rain last night. We had a skip of snow in the morning, so it's just kind of made a bit of a mess. But this road is fucking slick. <laughs> so Dad's in the truck ahead of me, and we're going out. got a pile of snow a few days ago so it should be it should be really good <laughs> we should have some riding to do it's been a slow start but I love this part the adventure of it my dad always says you know the adventure awaits he believes it should be caution adventure awaits so we'll see we'll see what we uh, have in store for us today and you kind of get pulled around, but my little truck's doing good. Um, we're just about to turn off. So this is um, like the main road, and we turn off onto side one, and I have this feeling that there is no tracks on the end. go it is not plowed and I am not I'm both hands on the wheel for this one I'm not getting fucking stuck out here here we go I was nearly stuck turning around nearly stuck huh yeah nearly stuck So we have to come back and get it. Where is it? It's here? It's staying in the truck for now. Okay. Here we go. That's where we turned around. Oh, it's slippery. So we're just gonna go. And it's good solid ice, it's not snow ice. Mm -hmm. and it's got good ice. Is this like a, I can wait on this side and then I can go, or do we just go? <laughs> what are you gonna do over here by yourself? Nothing. I always get really nervous at this point. The lake, the lake always gives me trouble. But at least this year it's a straight shot for us. So normally we have to kind of pick our way through the trees and get to a good crossing point. 
but um, one year I watched my dad go through the ice and we were really close to shore and he was okay but um, ever since then I just had such anxiety so a few things that I like to do is we chop a couple holes he does that just for me and I never like to pull a skimmer if I can help it especially on the first crossing once you get a track across it'll freeze in and then you can use that track and it'll be good but I also I don't wear my tether when I cross the lake and I keep my backpack unclipped because if I ever had trouble with the ice, I could at least ditch ditch the weight so Let's see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be just fine. I just get anxious and nervous and I'm just a girl, but here it goes. across the bridge there so we need the saw but I'm probably stuck right where I sit on fucking real mm. this is fucking deep actually and just heavy dad shouldn't be taking this long he was going slower, and he warned me he was going slower. But I don't think he should take this long. And I don't really have a good place to turn around. I keep thinking I can hear him, but then I'm also thinking that's the wind. Frick. There's gonna be so many trees down with how wet and heavy the snow is. Gross. It's just about four. And the new thing is I um, double back. So we go find a good spot to turn around and I double back to come get dad. 
because the expedition is packing full of snow. I'm like way below half a tank. And I feel like we've got like 10 more K to go, but half of it's really narrow trail, which could be really fun. I won't be able to double back once we get into that stuff. So I'm not too sure what dad's gonna wanna do, seeing as it's already four, but I, I imagine we'll keep going. says if we can make the hill, if he can make this hill, then he thinks we've got her beat. There's a, uh... oh fuck. I've only got one bar on my sled. So we're at the do or die point here where we commit to going to the cabin or we commit to going back to the truck. Got more fuel at the cabin and have more fuel at the truck, but. I think we got her beat. I um, haven't been filming much with the GoPro. Honestly, I was waiting until we got into the trees and saving on my battery and stuff for that, but getting dark. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go. The coolest thing about my goggles is hard to tell. There's a little slider right there. Slide it open. There's some magnets. And it just pops out. And they come with a handy dandy case. These brand new clears can go right in there. That goes there. And we'll push the slider. Now I got me clears. <sighs> what a day. I love these things with my dad though. It uh it is pretty cool that I get to do this with him. This is where I grew up sledding. My grandpa has the track line for this area. So this is where I grew up. This is how I learned how to ride. And I will say, none of this, if it was just buddies on some 850s, we'd have been in no time flat, everything would have been cool. But there's a crew of people coming behind us on not tomorrow, the day after. So we have to make a nice trail. We have to make a bridge, but that's probably not gonna happen until tomorrow. We'll just get ourselves through and then we have all day tomorrow to make it nice for everybody else. But. Wet, sticky, heavy. Ah! This is where we stop. I'm out of gas. And Dad's sled is just packing full of snow. So we're gonna have a little trailside supper. And mosey our way back to the truck and give her again tomorrow. Tomorrow seems like a way better day.
easy. I have to go so slow. Yeah. I just get out of control. I'll just stop every kilometer. Yeah, we're another quick, quick and a half or something that we're on the plow. Okay. That's watery right there. 